The Minecraft world you're looking at is nothing but a single lucky block. You can break it to get a drop, and every day the lucky block regenerates to give us something new. I'm going to attempt to survive 100 days on it and transform my world into a massive island. But first, let's see if we can even survive. Here's hoping for the, for the best. Wow. So we have a we have a grass block and an oak sapling. There is one thing we can do with these two items and it is it is that right there. We literally just have to wait for this tree to grow. Okay, wow. That was really quick. There is a piece of oak lock. I'm just thinking, we got to do this really carefully. These leaves are going to drop sticks and apples. Apples especially are important because they're going to keep us alive. But we need to make sure we can collect everything. So we can go for a crafting table. Next, we can make oak slabs. And we can now get this space feeling a little more safe. To make sure we don't lose anything. Next, we'll break these last two pieces. There we go. Now, the most important thing from this we need are saplings. Apples? That's great. If we don't get a sapling, we're going to be reliant on the lucky block for more stuff. It's just not our place I really want to be. There we go. Yes. Oh, another sapling. Sticks. Another sapling. Oh, another apple. So that is a fantastic start. And with that, we now got to wait till day two. So here's our next lucky block. Grab that. And ladies and gentlemen, next up we have, good gosh, this is slow. More dirt and bone. First thought with the bone is we obviously want to turn that into bone meal. Right, you can only bone meal grass, which I think means the only purpose of this is for us to place these down and then we can get more trees cooking up. That makes sense to me. And I'm wondering, perhaps the bone meal is just to speed this up a little bit. I almost feel like the play is to hold on to the bone meal because if we get grass, we can bone meal it and then get seeds and flowers. And now we wait. It looks like the sun is going down. No trees today, but I suppose the last thing we can do is tidy this up a little bit. There, it looks uh, kind of better. Now oh, look at that. Just as day three is approaching, a little bit more wood. And before we get to this next tree, we have our third lucky block. Now, hoping for something big today. We are going to have a bucket of water. Okay. We've also got five pieces of cobblestone that I am scared to use. Also, if you guys are interested in playing this yourself, just subscribe and watch to the end. We're going to do these sides with, with half slabs. So now that leads us to thinking about tools. Cobblestone is still limited. I, I don't think I'm ready to use that quite yet, but I will go ahead. I'm going to make a pick and obviously that wooden ax. And next tree. And look at that, guys. We've really got this place coming along great. Now, the other thing I want to do, since we have access to water, is first, um, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna take this piece of, uh, this piece of dirt back, and that's, that's not gonna work. Last of our resources. Come on. Beautiful. Dirt is rare. We must preserve the dirt. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else we can do with this water right now. Really, I, I think the big priority right now is just getting wood. Once again, we just kind of got to wait for trees to grow. Hello, big tree. It's right here. This is the man we like to see. Wow, look at that. 17 oak logs. Actually, a big reason I'm holding on to this cobblestone is I want a furnace so that we can get torches. We just don't want to be losing resources. Like, like that right there. Big thing I'm worried about right now is just expanding too far and then having mobs spawn on us. And we've got another lucky block. Now, before we get to that, your boy is getting a little hungry. So we're gonna eat an apple and let's see what we have. Ooh, interesting. Wait, is there a point to do this now? Like, I don't have wheat to breed them and I don't have shears to shear them. The only thing we could do now is kill them and hope to get three wool for a bed. And, you know, come to think of it, we're coming into our fourth day without sleeping. We are, in fact, gonna have to start dealing with phantoms here pretty soon. And that was not an edit. Um, that tree actually just grew. All right, so I know the plan. I'm gonna chop all these trees down. We're gonna make planks. We will reclaim this dirt. Just gonna do a little bit of rearranging here. Basically just gonna try to make this a little more symmetrical. We've got all our trees kind of off to the side now, a little more I don't know, it just feel, it feels a little bit better. But the thing I've been meaning to do today is, is make a safe structure so that we don't get destroyed by phantoms. I mean, look, this is day four. We don't have to get crazy. This is our beautiful, very modern, architecturally sound, anti-phantom dying chamber. We'll leave it right there.
Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, do you see that right there? That is the sun slowly rising. Do I want to speak too soon? I think we're going to make it. I think we're out of it. And there's our lucky block. Day five, ladies and gentlemen, we have cobblestone. Man, they are really being stingy, but I know exactly what I'm doing with this. Furnace, we can cook oak logs, and now we can make torches. Not only is this gonna keep monsters away, but if we put a torch next to every tree, it will allow them to continue to grow throughout the night. Now, with that taken care of, let's build a base. This is a really hot looking layout. We're getting creative with this one, guys. A rectangular box made of oak planks. Daring today, aren't we? Slabs? for the roof? You've never seen anything like this before. Truly a piece of art. And more importantly, we have two chicken spawn eggs. Okay, so this is actually a big deal. That's because chickens drop eggs. We can make an enclosure for said chickens. And I think it's something like every one in four eggs will give us another chicken. So even without seeds, we're in a great spot. Oh no. Oh no, our enemy has finally decided to spawn on us in the last absolute second it, that they could have, and they're about to die a fiery, painful death. And more important news, we have our next lucky block, and we are going to get wheat seeds. I think it might have given us more saplings too, and more, a lot more dirt. Okay, this is a very exciting development. So I spent the night uh, just doing a little expansion, and I think it would make a lot of sense to actually place a farm right here. We'll pull this whole place down, and then the question is, do we want to do all seeds? I don't know, because really the faster route to, to chickens would be to just breed them, right? Like there's three, and then with eggs, we will get nothing. But you know what I mean? Like we can leave this to do its thing, but I think it makes sense for this side too. Next, I think I'll go ahead and expand this. And there, now we've got a little bit of safety. And another day means another lucky block. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, now we can get cooking. Break these and lay down some spruce saplings. Once we get four saplings, we can make a big tree. But for now, great start. We'll also try for more chickens. Maybe it's not one in four. We've also got our first piece of wheat. That's four seeds. We can do another chicken. Now, the next thing I think I'm gonna do is actually finish our fence. This uh, may sound obvious, but I'm not really trying to die in this run. And I think a big step for progress of that would be uh, filling this in a little bit better. So I think this is where we'll cap the land of the oak. Spruce will just be a lot more efficient to build with, so we'll definitely start expanding things more as we get access to more wood. But there's one thing we need to do first. We're here for the log, don't get me wrong, but what we're really looking for is three spruce saplings. That is one. Ooh, I see two. Oh, let's go. So that means place four here. Ladies and gentlemen, we wait for the big lad to grow. Okay. Oh, I have 27 cobblestone? Stone sword. So I, I do have a plan. Okay, there's a reason I made the house like so. The idea is that they should be able to kind of swoop in and then they'll get stuck. Or, you know, they just, they just kind of do that. See, there we go. That's what we're going for. Nice. <laughs> oh, big tree. Yes. Aha. Woo. And... Dang it. Okay, we got hit there. You know what, though? Overall, I will call that a win. Now, due to the phantoms, we will have to wait till morning to hit this lovely tree. But on the bright side, we have one piece of bread. One tasty treat. We have cows. I think that is more than enough space. And more importantly, let's do it. Stone axe. This guy right here, this wooden axe. Sure, we'll, uh, we'll let it do its thing. Uh, c come on, it's a piece of wood. You really think I was gonna rely on that piece of junk? Whoa. Okay, so that's one tree down. But look at this. What? I have never seen something like this before. And yet, here I am, destroying it for our benefit. Now, next up, we gotta make sure we have more saplings. In fact, really, we wanna start making an army uh, of saplings. Oh, we've also got wheat. Let's do it. That'll be one baby cow. And there we go. Close your eyes. Wait. Oh, there's an apple. Just save the chicken. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, we got this? Yes. 
Wow, okay, come on guys, that was a humanitarian project. We saved the chicken, we got our apples in. Honestly, today was a job well done. All right, so that's another tree down and we got like basically another stack of spruce log. Day 10, it's gotta be something good. Are we ready? <gasps> that is a block of raw iron. Wow, okay. We'll get this cooking up. All right, nine iron ingots. So there's a few ways we could play this. It's a tough choice. I don't really feel like we need an iron pick. An iron ax is gonna make my experience actually quite a bit better. Plus it's also a weapon, maybe a little bit surprising. We're actually gonna go with a ax, kind of uh, like almost an obligation. I have to go with a shield. Almost leaning on just, just holding on to this for now. Honestly, I think we're getting a little full on items though. First ever chest. Guys, I don't think this is ever gonna end up as like our home, but it, it's kind of just gonna be like the small base that exists for this thing. We're gonna definitely move on. We're gonna do some big expansions. This is just gonna be like our starter base that always was. Turn away for a second, please. Look guys, I won't lie. I do feel a little bit bad, but uh, come on. I just, I wish it actually showed the, the eating animation. I'm sorry. You know, it would just be so awesome if I was like good at building stuff in Minecraft. And I'm just, I'm, I'm just not. I'm gonna just whip up this uh, lovely, lovely little build for our three sheep. And we can go, beautiful. Ooh, dang it, wait, we don't have grass. I was gonna say we could shear them, but yeah, we don't, we don't have, there's no sense in making shears because we don't have grass. We're making progress with the whole wheat thing. You know, that's gonna be progress eventually with the sheep. And you know, that's gonna mean someday guys, we are going to have a bed. We are going to be able to sleep. I know, crazy. Now, this ax, feeling good. We are just slowly increasing our stock of wood. Maybe we should start thinking about expanding. Just to show you kind of the idea that I wanna go with is actually like stairs. I want this to be the bottom floor. Okay, it's gonna be kind of hard to show you. It have to be this. Oh gosh, dang it. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay, I have uh, I have three wheat. We're gonna have to take this bread. The phantoms are back. I have a shield, Vlad inbound, got him. I'd actually go for the sword. Huh! Okay, 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 okay. Yep, give him the old stone one too. Woo! Quick snack, quick snack. We're back, we're out, we're, we're ready. Yep, try it, try it. Try it! Who wants the axe? Axe to the face. Axe to the face. Oh! Listen, in a 1v1, you're nothing. You hear that? Oh, 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 okay. You ready? You ready? You ready? You're dead. Ow, that was stupid. <laughs> well, fortunately, it's no problem. I can always get more chickens, which means more health. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Let me try to explain sort of what, what I was going for here. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! I am in I am in danger. Oh, this is actually well. It's good because they're trapped in here. Ah, ah. I might just need the power of a chicken right now. Yes, the power of a chicken. Oh, you're so stupid. You're so stupid. Okay, so things are certainly getting more tense. We're gonna need some more sheepy boys here pretty soon. But hopefully, you can kind of see what, what sort of like the design I'm going for here. Sun is coming up. Just wait this one out. Oh, that's a piece of wheat. All right, I'm gonna risk this, guys. Let's grab this, let's grab this real quick. Nice, 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 nice. Just gotta yeet on over here real quick. Boom, boom, nice. It's another sheep. Not seeing enough burn. There it is. Yeah. Uh, block for day 11. One piece of gravel and a another block of raw iron. The gravel. I'm sorry, what 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 do I do with a piece of gravel? I don't know. Um, Like a piece of... A piece of flint like a single piece of gravel just you know it's not really gonna do anything because you would need two pieces to make coarse dirt and that's the only other thing i can really think of gravel but a piece of flint we'll think about that nine more pieces of iron is actually monumental i wasn't expecting to get more iron anytime soon the phantoms are getting a little intense should probably have like at least a piece of armor yes one that'll be another delicious cooked chicken which will be full health oh which will be full health. Anyway, getting back to our master stair plan. This is the, the start of what we're going for. Well, that, that could be enough sheep for a bed. I always feel bad about this. Look away from your phone right now. We're gonna be sleeping on the bones of our friends. However, day 11, and we now have, that means no more phantoms, no more danger. The only 
danger that exists now in this world is is our own stupidity. Which is, you know, not to be understated because it is me, but 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 still, it's a step in the right direction. Basically, I want to do at least another level, probably an another one, and we kind of have to to do this. I don't know if I really want to get started on this because I'm probably going to get attacked by like 18 phantoms. You think you can stop me and the power of mutton? Who do you think you are? I am. But, you know, in all seriousness, we don't have armor. Okay, we're, 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 we're taking risks being out here at night. I think we're just gonna, we're gonna take our, our first nap, guys. We've put in a lot of work. We have earned the sleep. And in that sleep, check it out. <gasps> Carrots? I think the play here... Yeah, we're kind of needing more dirt, but, but we don't have that. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do those four. I think we should do... This one is for the cows, truly. So as much as I hate chickens, I gotta say, I really appreciate all these eggs. We'll get some more stairs. There it is. Honestly, I really like the feel that this is going to create. I think one of the biggest things you need to do when you're doing these sort of like island skyblock kind of things is like have depth. I really like this. No, I think we're just going to kind of repeat what we've got going on here. Right, so we've got the layer. We'll add one more round of stairs. Yeah, things are starting to come along. Now that used quite a bit of the spruce that we had gathered. So probably time we take down this guy. And that's going to be a pretty nice restock. Day 13. Ladies and gentlemen, we have... Pigs. They wanted us to complete the group. I don't have room for pigs. I don't know if this is really gonna work. Seems a little cramped for more than like two animals. Now, we do have carrots and there we go. We have bred all major farm animals. Now, next up, we're just gonna spend some time expanding the island. And I think that'll first start with just filling in these corners here. So certainly not gonna be the end of it, but that is the start. It's just not even close to enough. Like these stairs are just kind of going to nothing. I think we kind of want to like expand out this way too. But yeah, that makes a whole lot more sense. Now, this side is slightly different because we had to go a bit longer just to, to sort of uh, host these farm animals. But I'm basically thinking the same thing here. We need torches. Anyway, next side. Now, we can also go six out on this end. And actually, I think we've constructed a pretty nice looking top area. Oh, but you see the problem now. See, like it felt weird to have stairs going up to nothing. And now over here, we have stairs going up to nothing. So that means we need more tree. It's pretty clear to me we gotta start expanding out on these sides. That's gonna be a lot more slabs. So let's get to it. Okay, we're gonna go six out again. And then we go back. One, two, three. Excellent. Now, if we wanna take a bit of a vantage point, let's, uh, you know what? That's definitely not enough. <laughs> like, not at all. Dang, wow. It does feel like a good start. And there we go. We're gonna climb back up again. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's 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 just maybe still not enough. Now, don't think for a second I forgot about this guy. We have second bucket of water. Actually, what I'm gonna do is move this around a little bit. And then boom, infinite water. It's beautiful. Day 15. That is what I thought it was. Five emeralds and a villager spawn egg. That is a very exciting development. But before we go ahead and spawn this villager, I think we just need to make space so that we can make a place for said villager. Anyway, um, this means it's, it's time to lay more slaps. And done. Still doesn't feel like enough. How about that maybe it's like a pretty good space right maybe an another layer on this side i just need to make sure i'm keeping everything symmetrical and add something on this side oh no oh no the first challenger <laughs> uh, honestly uh, i'm not gonna pretend like this is scary i'm honestly just grateful that it's a zombie because that could have been a skeleton it could have been a creeper but easy kill uh no no achievement but that definitely was our first i'm wondering if maybe the next step is to make some sort of trading hall we've actually got a lot of spruce so i think we could do something pretty cool the one big thing i need to remind everyone is that we are in fact making our entire structure out of wood I'm not saying things are gonna go poorly but i am saying you know i mean it's like a, a, a single lightning storm would end our entire career now i'm just gonna hit this lucky block oh a bucket of lava dude the timing on that is 
insane. Like here I am. I'm saying we need we need cobblestone. We need stone. We have the thing for a uh, for a cobblestone generator. The big worry is is lava touching wood and ending our entire career. Well, you know, theoretically, if it works, we'll get infinite cobblestone. So I, I guess I shouldn't feel too bad about using some. I'm just gonna build away from the main structure. This is the basis. <laughs> For it. Let me just make sure. Do we have any other non burnable blocks? We really don't. Okay. Oh, I don't want to have to use dirt. I'm going to see if this might work with log below, except for over here. This is going to be the end with the lava. The water would go there, it should flow into there. And then this flows this way, and boom. There you go. Look at this. We could just use the cobblestone generator to generate cobblestone. And then the parts that are going to burn, you can just fill it in with cobblestone. Gosh, this feels like it's 2012 and I'm building my first skyblock cobblestone generator. This is so, so horribly inefficient, but it's, it's, it's what we got for now. Oh my gosh. This is so bad. <laughs> that and then like that maybe like would that even be better yeah i think this is much more likely we don't lose it if we're here look we're going to slowly and progressively improve this thing obviously but this is like the first time that we have access to infinite cobblestone oh my gosh do you see what this means guys look at it look at it see that getting an upgrade day 16 our our, our first upgrade <laughs> What a day. There's the axe. Say bye-bye to the shovel. Man, I tell you guys, I am quite the flex god today. Oh my gosh, the speed at which we break this. Wow, this is really awful. Oh my gosh, it's so slow. Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, that is one stack of cobble. And that is going to be another half. What a night. Lava. Amazing. So today there's a few things we can do. Start by hitting our lucky block. More iron. Guys, we, we finally have enough and we are gonna do it. There it is. The helmet, the boots, the legs, and the chest plate. Look, our only main enemy has been phantoms, but still, we gotta take all the precautions we can. And we still have eight left over. Now, number two, I wanna start our villager trading hall. And we're gonna go pretty big on this guy. I think I'd rather just build it once rather than have to try it and try it again. Honestly, I think this wants to go to about here. So here is our border. Kind of an entrance like here. After the Cherry Grove video, I'm just kind of in a mood to try and make this look somewhat good. And I'm, I'm a little inspired, one could say. So I'm going to try my best to make this look kind of cool. Feels like a good size. First design on a window. I don't hate it. Honestly, though, something about this just doesn't really feel right to me. Oh, actually, I kind of like that. Okay, so it's taking a little bit, but I think I'm a little more happy with this design. Oh, uh, so can't forget our lucky block. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be making moves very soon. Now, for these in-between sides, I think we're going to do something similar. So you can do basically the same thing here. Maybe that. So I do like this. I'm wondering if maybe... Like a little bit of that. I think it's just like important to switch things up or they start to look boring. And kind of make something fancy back here. That could work. I think this is gonna still need some touching up, but it looks okay for now. A new day means another lucky block. A stack of diorite. Interesting. We could make a diorite floor, except we don't have enough diorite. We'll scratch that for now. Also, since this is gonna be a spot for villagers, uh... Sorry about that, guys. But there, we'll be able to get in and they can't get out. Now, next up, we got to put in some work on this sort of entryway. Just thinking we go simple with like a sloping roof. There, that looks even better. Now, today is the day that I've been dreading. Actually, I'm sorry. I'm forgetting our lucky block. Today is an excellent day. Never mind. That's uh, a little space of 32. Okay. No, ladies and gentlemen, the reason I I'm dreading today is because before we do the villagers, guys, I feel like this place needs a roof. Then again, we just got these emeralds. Should we just spawn them? Like nothing's going to kill them. It's just the aesthetic basically that we're losing. We could probably not worry so much about the aesthetic and just like start working towards more progress. Are we ready? Here we go. 
There it is. Hello, my beautiful villagers. Welcome to the world of Minecraft. So you guys need jobs. Uh, I don't know if I have that yet. Big thing is we want to get them breeding. So that means more wheat. So we got more sheep cooking up. That gives us not enough of either, but it is progress. Okay, so I guess that's really all we can do in terms of getting more villagers. Question now is what type of villagers do we want? Current options would be one piece of flint. Dang, it's almost like the game didn't want us to go the route of the Fletcher. With purely wood, we could do farmers or fishermen. We also have access to wool, so that gives us the option of a loom. Five pieces of iron left. A tool Smith could be hype. Composter and then smithing table. So normally I would go with the sell wheat by bread. We've been needing a lot of wheat for our animals. I'm wondering if maybe we want to go with the carrot route. Yeah, I think we'll go with this. We also have 32 emeralds, which means we can lock it in and get six pieces of bread. Very, very hype. There's this guy. I guess this bottom one doesn't really matter. I think that's the best combination. Um, at this point, that's, that's really all we can can do. I think where we're at right now, we've kind of just got a bit of waiting to do. It's kind of leaving us with an opportunity to fix up this roof. That's looking clean. I think that is actually looking pretty sick. I know it's basic, but don't forget this is a Nifty Smith video and I kind of suck at building stuff. So that's gonna be one roof. Now we did the half slab so that no mobs can spawn up here. It's been a longer construction cycle than I was expecting. There we have it. Can we, can we maybe get a, a, a theater mode shot of this? It's not very impressive, but I do think it's one of my better builds. And honestly, like that might be a little sad, but it's true. Now we've got another lucky block. Okay, that's a big one. There's so many things I need to grow. I don't have the space. All right, so we've taken this down. I think what we're gonna do is grab these four pieces. One, two, three, four. A little bit of water, put these. Yeah, okay. Now we'll go back to the sheep. That's gonna give us a light gray bed and a white bed. We grab our pre-existing bed, place those there. We dish out our bread to our villagers. Let's go. Big thing now is we have three villagers. Three village and three beds constitutes as a village, which means iron golems are gonna start spawning, which means we finally have access to iron. To put it simply, today was a big day. Look at that. I feel like our island is finally starting to come along where we have like an actual structure. So day 23, we have interesting. That would give us a brewing stand and that would still leave us with 18 blaze powder. I suppose we could eventually get an alchemist, but for now guys, I think we just need to do a bit of grinding. We're going to start with some cobblestone. Okay, so that's like quite a few stacks of cobblestone. I think I'm gonna actually start getting some of this cooking up. We'll go with two more. So that's just about done. We've got potatoes. Do I look like a guy? that wants potatoes. No, not really. For our next project, I think I'm gonna need to commandeer some of this dirt because we're actually looking for more spruce, looking for more trees in general. And I think this is actually gonna be most of our day. So I've been thinking, we're doing pretty well, but I'm still finding this to be kind of low on resources. And I'm wondering if a mob grinder is kind of what we need. So I think I kind of just want to make it right here. Normally you would do this with cobblestone, but that's that's just gonna be really expensive. First we build 22 blocks high, and I'm going to assume that you've seen a mob grinder be built before. So we'll do the fast version of this. Look, come on, you've seen this a million times. And you do this. Next we are filling this space in, and I am starting to sound exactly like I did in the Cherry Grove video. The next step is realize you don't have enough wood. So next you're gonna wanna head down and get more wood. Also, remember that you have a lucky block today require sand, 64 sand. Now this is gonna spawn skeletons, which will give us bones, which will give us bone meal. So I'm actually gonna use this and hope, hope, oh, hope. Okay, that's tough. Next, we can return up top. We fill these slots in with trap doors. Oh no, did I really? I really did that, huh? I made it one too long. I think it should still be okay, right? Cause we just do this. There, that should still work. So that's gonna be our walls. This placement of slabs, this will prevent spiders from spawning. Lastly, we just gotta fill this roof in and boom. 
It's already working. Wow, it's working good. And we don't have the hoppers for it yet, but just look at that. Gunpowder, we got bone, right? So just check out the bone meal. We got 30 right there. I guess we can really just farm this. And since we're mainly after carrots right now, look at this. Certainly not the most efficient system. I don't know, 50 carrots? It's not bad. I also forgot today's lucky block. <gasps> right, but then we got 55 carrots. We can head over here. We can talk to our farmer. And look at that. Look at that. Two emeralds. We are a god at Minecraft. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We've got a long ways to go. But as you can see, this is huge progress. See all this rotten flesh? We can take this to our alchemist and they will buy it. Oh, we also got an iron sword. There's also 15 bones. 49 more carrots for two more emeralds. This man is also going to level up and now he will sell us pumpkin pie. Oh, I hear that witch. We got a little bit of, oh, a spider eye. I mean, it's not unique to the witch, but I will take it. Oh no. Oh my gosh. This is bad. 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 Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. This is really bad. Oh no. I think we're patched. We're patched. Okay. All right. So I'm not exactly sure. Something to do with the line of sight for the creeper. If I stand right there, it kind of seemed to count as it being able to see us. So the mistake was not having that like this. Gotta be careful though. That poison is dangerous. Okay. This is weird. They're like in here. Need to kill this witch. Oh my God. I'm going to die. I'm going to kill this guy. Die. 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 Okay. Okay. We, 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 oh, uh, no. Fill it in. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's a step in the right direction. There we go. There we go. And there we go. That was a whole heck of a lot of danger. That was really on me. I, I should have been a little more proactive there. I knew they were triggering. I didn't try to fix it. Gonna add some bows together. Get a full bow. Oh my God. This thing just won't stop. I can't keep up with it. It's an amazing problem to have. Yeah, we just really need to get some hoppers to take this to the next level. It's just really dangerous to collect stuff right now. Anyway, that was that was good. We got like over 64 bones now. So again, to just like show you the extent of how awesome this is. Oh my gosh. Dude, the amount of carrots. This is insane. So we can once again take some things over. Do some sales. Seven emeralds. Talk to this guy. That's gonna be one more emerald. And then I guess we can just use these emeralds to level up this guy. Get some axes. We'll level this guy up. A little more wool is gonna yield us two more beds. And that's gonna be another villager. Don't think for a second I forgot about today's lucky block. Bit of quartz. Put that away for now. So day 20 eight we have snowball and pumpkin i won't lie i've seen better drops but today guys i'm just gonna focus on doing a bit of grinding and as i okay i just want to say that was not planned uh you all saw that wow that <laughs> Okay, we have... Yeah, see, you could tell this wasn't planned due to the horrible drops this man is giving us. Today, we're gonna simply go for resources. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, it is a new day, which means yet again... Ooh. This is a big deal. Five... Oh, that's sneaky. Okay, so check this out. So rather than just giving us an easy five diamonds, the game gave us a decision. We could place these down and break them now, or we can wait until we have fortune and potentially get more diamonds. Appreciate the freedom, but it is a tough choice. I think the thing is we're gonna have to rely on our villagers for diamond tools. I'm just not expecting the game to give us a ton of diamonds. So I think that means we'll just hold on to them for now. In other news, there is just no iron golem spawning over here. I'm wondering if maybe we're gonna have to do this manually that's exactly what i'm looking for yeah! wow that was so easy so oh right we want to get another baby zombie out of here and take him across there to scare the villagers and make them start spawning golems while we wait for that i'm gonna use some of our newly acquired spruce slab and just like how it is wide over there we're gonna do a little bit more filling in on this side so we're gonna take it from here to here. You know, I gotta say, I'm really loving this because just as we're coming up to the end, it's gonna be nighttime, which means we can once again break this. There are, oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay. Uh, You know, I'm viewing this like it's a problem, but it might actually also be our solution. It is absolutely no problem to shoot these guys. 
Easy. I don't know. Maybe we just wait for a zombie to spawn. Oh, I hear a small zombie. Come on, buddy. There you are. I guess I gotta let him in, huh? So, are you guys gonna spawn a golem? There it is. Really hoping I won't have to do this every single time I want a golem to spawn. Takes us to eight. Eight pieces of iron. That's two sails to this guy. We're slowly but surely chipping away towards diamond tools. Oh yeah, right. Little bit of boopage. Now the real question, can we grind this? I mean, he's he's definitely, yeah, he's dead, he did. Okay, we're gonna try something here. Oh, no, 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 buddy. That's, that's gonna get you killed. That's gonna, Ah, oh, you're so stupid. Come up here. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. And now you see we need to level up this guy because we need a name tag so he doesn't go away. Uh, I guess I'll buy some lapis. Wait. No, it's librarians. Well, actually, I kind of did need these things, so that's fine. Now, for as long as I don't leave, that zombie should stay here. And it also seems like these guys, like it is scaring them. Thinking maybe we put the stuff over here so they go and then get scared. Then a golem spawns and we should be able to grind this like decently well. Okay, I won't lie. That's, uh, that's a bit of a weird spawn. But hey, so this guy is looking at three a piece now, which I think we can pull that off very easily. For here, he should start giving us enchanted iron tools. Like, we don't really have a need for that, but it is a, a good shovel, and I guess I will take it. I mean, really, the rest of this iron, we should probably just use it for tools. That's an iron pick. Iron axe. You know, we're back on that iron game. Let's go. From here, we can keep grinding iron. As night falls, I'm almost thinking this is gonna be easier because they're gonna always wanna go back to their bed. And if we just move these beds a little bit over here. You know, this is certainly no iron farm. But look, for now, we're just gonna get ourselves established. Killing golems, taking names. Okay, so 28 ingots. That is gonna be just enough. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth. Diamond axe and a fortune diamond shovel. It's pretty good. I think for now, I will take the axe and we're not gonna get the pickaxe till the final level up. So maybe we should think about an iron farm then. We still might not have the resources. Quartz, redstone, iron. I almost forgot, day 30. Oh, that does change things a little bit. Wait, is that another one? I suppose we could get dripstone for a lava farm. Uh, cactus can be very useful. So we'll just those two things for now. Actually, brown dye is kind of rare. Okay, so to make an iron farm, you need repeaters, which we actually have. I think it's four. You also need one piston, which we do have. I need one more bed. That'll give us our third villager needed for an iron farm. Okay, now don't let me forget this. Oh, grass and budding amethyst. Okay, feels like a lot of things are happening. Let me explain where we're at. An iron farm would give us more emeralds, which would then make it easier to get diamond tools. And although we just got obsidian, I don't really want to go to the nether until we have at least some diamond gear. But both things are kind of made irrelevant due to the fact that we just got a grass block. Because we've been making so many beds, we've been struggling to keep up with our supply of sheep. But finally, now I'm I'm hoping that is going to change because now with our grass block, we can just have the sheep regenerate their wool rather than having to kill them. But in order to do that, we still need to go to the nether. So we'll take our one piece of flint, flint and steel. We'll just plop this over here for now. And here we go. Oh, oh, I don't know if I like this. What is this world? Oh, shut up. This is a chunk, isn't it? Oh, it is. Here I was so confident we were gonna get a full world to explore. We have a single nether chunk. We wanna go down to the lava. And I am on fire. Okay, so that's not really great. We need to get down there. Oh, it actually looks like we could just dig straight down to this. Okay, that looks like that looks like a safe dig down. Just make sure. Yeah, okay. So what we're after is in fact gravel. The reason we want this is you can actually use gravel to get more dirt. And dirt is really all part of that master plan. Now, the other thing I may as well mention while I'm here is my grand plans of exploring the nether are obviously uh, a little limited. I'm just gonna grab all this gravel. Ah, whew. Uh, 
Uh, if I could not be on fire, that'd be great. Okay, big time danger. 43 pieces of gravel. Quick little head home. So now the master plan can commence. We take the gravel, we make coarse dirt. As you see, the eight dirt just turned into 16. We hoe it, shovel it, and now we have 16 regular dirt. From there, you do this again. More coarse dirt. One more time, and that'll be 50 in total. So the next thing we're gonna make will be, in fact, a, I don't know if I wanna call this an animal farm, but a, a, a patch of grass for our sheep. Pop that grass block in the middle. We have, oh my gosh, a whole bunch of sand today. Finally getting to a point where I might need more storage. Or like, you know, actual storage. Oh, we also got a camel spawn egg. Well, for now, we're gonna fill this in. We can take our sheep, and look at this. They're gonna get a beautiful new home. Next, we can make shears. And ladies and gentlemen, look at this. And we got the carpet. Oh my gosh, what a day it is. Now seeing these guys over here, I think there is a big part of me that just wants to move the rest of our animals. So we're gonna do cows next. Look how much space they have. Yeah, I feel a lot better about this. Time for the big one. Oh wow, dude, I have an army. Beautiful. And last but not least, what an upgrade. And now look at all this space we have. Now just getting back to our toolsmith. We've got the trade. I think we're just gonna go all the way. Diamond pick, 13 emeralds, and one diamond pick. So I know we've been talking all about this iron farm, but I think I'm reaching my breaking point as far as having a terrible inventory system goes. So I'm thinking maybe we should finally do something with our starter hut. Okay, so that's gonna be everything filled in. Day 33 is... Oh, a cherry sapling, nice. Here's what we have to work with. So I'm almost thinking about making this base like more square-like. I'm almost wondering if we wanna finally break out the stone. Cause like, it would be nice to have something that's fireproof. You know, like even going with a fireproof floor maybe? Could be kinda cool. Feeling better again. And better yet. So maybe that could be our floor, and then from there, we kind of just go around it. Do you smell what the rock is cooking up? Now, that is a pretty bland looking structure. So I'm wondering if we could spice it up a little bit with some wood. Okay, so that's uh, marginally better. Kind of actually leaning towards making this a tower. So for now, maybe that's enough. There, that's uh, a little better. And doesn't that lucky block just look a little better too? Ooh, a couple flowers. Great, another item that I don't have inventory for. Now these will be really useful someday. So I've gone ahead and spent the last day doing a little bit of item sorting. We've got like food and living stuff and mob stuff here, blocks over here, armor, weapons and miscellaneous items over here. We also have a new lucky block, which is birch sapling. One of those there. I definitely think we want a second floor. So I think the easiest thing is probably the best option for now. Honestly, this is feeling nice. Even from out here, like that is a fine looking house. There is a big part of me that wants to turn this into a tower though. Shut it, nerds. Okay, we are getting some fat levels. Wondering if maybe we should think about an armorer. There's a blast furnace, but I suppose if we want to do this right, we're probably going to need to make... That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I actually, I think it's time. I think the iron farm should go over here. So that'll hold them for now. This is yet another build you've probably seen me do before. So you start with a contraption like this. You set up your spot for your villagers. Next, you basically got this. From here, you cannonball off. Next, we build a little thingy up. It's a beautiful thing. So next, we need a zombie. Now, I was worried about us not having name tags, but it doesn't seem to be a huge problem. Now, we just need to boop one into the hole. Come on. Yes! Yes! Oh, wait, he died. Uh, maybe the guy with the armor won't die? No! Just get in the hole, please! Please! Yes! So, you see, the trick is we just had to have the piston up. That way, it didn't take fall damage. And... I think that's it. Terror machine is working. Oh, nice! Now, this is really weird because we're slabbing it up, and they could certainly be spawning down here, but they're just, they're just not. I'm not complaining, I'm just surprised because usually we face a lot of issues when we build these things. I was like, dang, look at that. 
We got a bunch of redstone and 32 iron. So now begins the process of leveling up our armor. We can start selling emeralds to this guy, but armors are expensive. Cheapest we can do is iron boots for four. After a little bit of grinding, this guy's selling for two now. That will be the first level up. And from here, things should get easier. Also can't forget our lucky block stuff. Now today should be enough for another level. And there we go. Two really good enchantments, by the way. Okay, so unfortunately, we weren't quite as lucky as we were before, and this guy has despawned. So if we're gonna really want this to keep cooking, we're gonna need a name tag. For now, though, let's shift gears a little bit. We've got yet another lucky block. Oh my gosh, game giving us some really weird stuff. Why would I want an Elder Guardian? Day 40, we have a new block. And wow, that is uh, aesthetic. Now, everything here is quite appreciated, but I would say of everything, it's actually the gold block that's the most exciting thing here. As you can see, we just don't really have any gold yet. So that's nice to see. That puts us at 37 emeralds total. And you know what? I think our hard work is finally paying off because check that out. That is a pair of diamond leggings. Boom. And while we're here, got those boots, baby. So I do want to get around to making a second floor here. But first, and while this may seem kind of random, I want to add a layer of stone around this whole place. See what I mean? I just feel like this adds a layer of professionalism to the place. Now, next up, we're going to go ahead and add this second story. Okay, looking very plain and uh, normal. Hey, I don't need any of this. But what I do need is day 41, cooking up that gravel. The ban- Ooh! Okay, I got excited over the gravel, but the bamboo, this is actually massive for us. Now, um, in, in other news, <laughs> that looks weird. There's just like something off about that, right? Like from here, it's fine, but I think I have to take it down a level. See, that looks kind of better, but I just, I don't know. That feels kind of stupid. Okay, hear me out. This. Like from the inside, it's got a kind of cool feel to it. I think that looks nice. So now, once again, we're just gonna throw on a roof. This is our second floor. It kind of gives me like attic vibes, which uh, I'm actually okay with. I, I kind of like it. Some jungle sapling today. Also check out all this dirt. So with this floor complete, the first thing I actually want to get in here is an enchanting table. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it diamonds. <laughs> so we need to go back to the nether. Okay, there we are. Making sure I don't do the thing. I didn't do the thing. And check out this absolutely not precarious staircase. It's totally safe. We're fine. We're good. Just scale in a chunk, you know? Easy. Okay, now there we go. There's our enchanting table. <laughs> Obviously, this thing has a bit of a ways to go. Because I need more leather. Now we can make a bookshelf. And with a bookshelf, we can make a lectern. So I think I'm just going to let this guy be a paper and bookshelf librarian. So now we find ourselves in an interesting spot where we're kind of in need of more everything i guess like i say everything it's really sugar cane but like the challenge in this run is that we just don't have stuff and i'm realizing a lot of the time it's like the only way you can get that thing is through villager traits so that has me thinking maybe we should just make a sugar cane farm this is pretty much all we need for this fairly simple build so the design is super simple as you can see basically you're just gonna have sugar cane like so there's gonna be a piston that breaks it off very simple pistons are gonna go here along this back wall right so basically what's gonna happen is this is is gonna get too high that's gonna be like hey i'm observing you and then all of these are gonna break everything that's been built and uh it's gonna flow into there I'm wondering if i place this okay now in other news i think i could probably afford to add a hopper into here oh this should be easy right we just do this and it should be as simple as boom look at that now we can kill things and it goes into the hoppers. Now my inventory won't get ruined every time I feel like booping some guys. I think something like that should be enough. We can just toss things off the edge. And the booping 
can continue. That's a nice system. In other news, got a sniffer egg, turtle egg. We're getting a lot of eggs here. Now jumping back over to this, as you can see, it's starting to kind of do its thing. And so in the meantime, I want to add a second layer of stone to our exterior. You know, I got to say, just like looking around the island, it's really starting to feel like a bit homey. It really feels like we're starting to utilize the space. Now in other news, back on the emerald grind, we've got enough for three more bookshelves. Oh, this guy's actually going to give us protection four, which is really cheap too. Now that is just getting extremely lucky. But as you can see, our uh, big bookshelf collection is really starting to stack up. Also have another block today. You know, we're getting it all, not using a whole lot. But hey, sometimes, you know, that's just that's just what it is. Now, the other thing we can do today will be our level up on this big dog here and an unbreaking helmet and a protection chest plate. Oh, the man with the deals. What a legend. But if we come back with some carrots, Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, that will be diamond set. Oh, in other news, look at that, it worked. Okay, so the last librarian gang is gonna be a slow grind we have five more diamonds let's go now in other news yesterday i went ahead and i got the materials for a cobblestone generator so we're going for a very simple system and when i say cobblestone i actually mean stone All right so this is how it works we put another layer around here like so and then lava there cover that in put a hole here the sign there and Boom. Oh wait, it's making cobblestone. I've done something wrong. I just don't have silk touch. Yeah, that, that's that's my bad. We're good, we're good. It, it, it's working as intended. Now, I'm really starting to want a name tag, so I am going to have to resort to selling sticks, but I think that will be enough. Oh, we have a glass trade. Okay, so that's an easy level up, and so is that. Now, you will give me a name tag. Nice. All right, that's step one. Guess that's time we also make an anvil. We can put it up here with our other cool stuff. Also got ourselves another bookshelf. We've got a new day. And we've got protection two. Big upgrade from protection one. Also ready for something cool. Ha-ha! Now a few more emeralds will yield a few more books. And that's going to bring us up to ten. And now that it's nighttime, we must wait for a zombie. Okay, there's our guys. Now we've got a much better system than before. Ready for this? Uh, I actually really only need one of you. There we go. And it's that easy. There's the name. Look at that golem already spawning in. Like that. And there we go. Back to that delicious, juicy iron. Gentlemen, you will never sleep again. However, your contribution will never go unnoticed. Now, the one thing I am thinking about this whole machine is that it doesn't look very good. You know, maybe we need to just uh, clean this up a little bit. I don't know. That looks kind of cool, I guess. It, it certainly looks better than how it was. And just out of curiosity, Let's see here. 29 iron. Feeling like this island has a lot of potential. Now, guys, you may be wondering what I'm doing. I'm going to level with you, being a little petty right now. But since I'm so amped up for this island, I realized this just wasn't in the, like an even spot. So we're just kind of shifting the whole thing over three blocks. And... Nice. I'm a redstone expert. Look, it's a very subtle difference, but it used to be right up against this wall. So it, it just couldn't get around it. it. It looked stupid. Now it just feels like it's a little bit more even. Right, so that's day 50. What's next? Well, we can start by hitting this. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Five blocks of diamond. I just don't feel like I've progressed that far. And yet at the same time, now by all accounts of Minecraft, I am rich. I can't even put this in a chest. I have to hold this on me at all times. Now, getting back to things. As I said, I want to do a bit of upgrading to the island. And I actually think a good next place to start might be with our animals. So by clearing out our little farm, we have more room for, I guess, a barn? I think for now it's gonna be a little tricky. So I'm just gonna try to get all the animals in here. Here we go. Last but not least. You know, I really have a feeling that I'm going to regret this decision. But for now, it's gonna make building this thing at least a little bit easier. This is gonna be a fairly large building. Perhaps this is too large? I, I, I don't really know. Okay, so I thought I'd see what dark oak looks like. Ah. Uh, you know, maybe we do this and 
that? I don't know, there's a part of me that feels like I'm just seeking something different for it to be different, but at the same time, that philosophy will lead us to something that stands out and does look different, and that will make our island look cooler. It's not bad. Oh, uh, well, I, uh, I did something, but in other news, I, I, I finally found an outline that is feeling good to me. I know it may not make a lot of sense yet, but I've got a, a vision I'm going for, and I promise it's going to make sense. Now, at this point, I think I'm ready to let the animals out. Biggest problem is going to be dividing the cows from the sheep. See, I think the first step is going to be getting everything back over here. Oh, yeah, this is one big mess. That's not bad. Sheep can come over. And then look at that, all the cows sur survived. Yeah. Okay, so I was recording and I broke the block yesterday, coming into today. Oh yeah, I also have Minecraft music playing. That's it, look at this. Look at this, diamonds, raw iron, raw gold. Gosh, I never play with Minecraft music, it's such a vibe. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we have ice. All the ice, whoa. Gonna put them away, but I wanted to show you. It took a lot of trying and trying again, but I just ended up going for something pretty basic here. This was inspired by the YouTuber Melfi's build. Barns are usually something I don't make, and I just think it's nice to actually have a place for your animals. Now that I look at it from, from up here, a few moments later, how about that? I just added half a slab in height to the middle section. Feels a little more vertical now. Look, I, I, I'm good with it. Now, with that said, I, I feel like this side of the island is, is full, you know? Over here, you know, there's, there's a thing. There's also stuff. What about this big expanse right here? We just kind of got like nothing. I just feel like we need one really significant building right here, and I just don't know what that could be. A straight like crop farm could do? Honestly, I suppose there's probably a lot of farms that might work. I just don't know. So instead, we're gonna make a third floor to our house. That's gonna begin with taking down this jungle tree. So this is just gonna be pretty similar to the last two floors, I think. Now, once again, I have made a giant rectangular box. And once again, I am ready to recognize that this is gonna look really stupid. So we'll do a little something like that. We won't forget to hit this. Wow, netherrack. We'll do the same roof pattern. Here you have our triple stacked base. Now I'm thinking for this roof, maybe what we'll do is we'll add trees to it. Thinking maybe we'll do like one of each major tree. I think that would be okay. And go like, that, that, and yeah, like a bit of a forested vibe up here. Ooh, yeah, see that just kind of adds like a bit of a nice vibe. Been holding off on these birch guys for a while now. Thinking we could almost like sort of fit these in between spaces maybe. You know, just like that. Okay, I like that. I'm pretty happy with our little house here. Now, in other news, I really wanna get some better armor. And so before the sun comes up, I'm going to get some more emerald trades in. While we wait for those resets, we... Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, dude, this is pumping iron. This one, yeah, not, not so much. You know, it's, it's not nothing. We could sell a bit of stuff off. But what we are mainly here for is, I think five? Mix 12, 13, 14, 15. Next, we can sell more sticks. We can buy some lapis. We can hit this. Shut up. I feel like I'm hacking. That's a lot of lapis. Let's see what we can get on these bad boys. Nothing really. In that case, I'll take our other emeralds and we will buy a new pick. Yeah, new ax, new shovel. We have a lot of levels, so I'll bite on that. Oh, but there's the protection for, there's the protection for. See, I'm more so looking for silk touch. Oh my God, that's, that's beautiful. There's the efficiency for, oh, dude, this is, what? Fortune, silk touch, silk touch. Ooh, fire protection would be nice. Protection four would be better. I just don't think there's enough fire in this world to really make that worth it. So we'll just finish out with another protection four. That is a hot set of armor and a pretty spicy set of tools. Also, in case you were wondering, the reason I was excited about silk touch is now when we break this, we're just gonna get stone, right? Then we take our stone and boom. Look at that stone brick, easy as that. That's like a lot of stone brick. If you were me right now, what would you do 
with all this stone brick? Should we just like expand this out a whole bunch? I don't really know. Well, fortunately, there's always one thing we can do when we don't know what to do. Man, I'm really starting to get like a lot of just generic stuff. There's a lot to do, so let's keep doing it. So I've gone ahead and I've started an army of masons. The numbers, mason. We're not really here for for brick. Now you see what we're here for. Uh, not that, actually, no, not that either. Because you see, what we're here for is also uh, not polished andesite. Although I suppose these are all things we did not have before. Ladies and gentlemen, what we are after is that beautiful quartz pillar and that quartz block. Because the next thing we're gonna make is a big fancy building. For now, it's just gonna be a bit of grinding to get like a metric butt ton of block quartz. We've also got our day 60 block. Oh, you know, that really might have come at just the right time. Oh my gosh, it's every shulker box. Basically, for the next few days, our life is gonna look like tearing down trees, selling sticks for emeralds. We'll then use those emeralds to buy more quartz. Make sure to hit this guy every day. And we're basically just gonna do this for a few days. Right, so after a very lengthy session with the lads, we have gone ahead and basically filled a shulker box full of quartz. We also got some polished deep slate slabs and we went ahead and got mending on our tools. Now, before we actually build something here, we need to get our guys to, to kind of go, I guess really, we just want them to, to go into this place eventually. Oh, look at that. Yeah, okay. There it is, nice. Ah, we are faced with the, I, you know, the, the possibility of our whole island burning down. Um, obviously the stone locations are fine. And I think given that like it's raining during a thunderstorm, you know, it, it's pretty unlikely that uh, our world's gonna burn down. 66 days until we get a thunderstorm, I'm out. I just, I just don't need this risk right now. We're all about that safety. Oh, we're also about a new, ooh, mushrooms. Okay. Huh? That that is not what I meant to do. I meant to hit this. Follow me, buddy. We're just gonna come in here. All right. You're just gonna you're just gonna follow me. We'll spawn in your buddy. You'll make a baby. We'll give the baby a little snack. And look at that. Now let's get back to business. Thought about building an extra platform for what we're gonna do right now, but I think it, it's just easier if we just make it here. All right. So to begin, these are the dimensions I'm looking at. We're gonna do the old checkerboard floor. I think I want to have a normal height floor rather than like do the half slab thing. I mean, come on. Like how? How can you argue with this? There's our floor. Hopefully you can kind of see what I'm going for here. I like that quite a bit. So like we have the base, but now it's just like the tricky thing of what do you actually do to fill this in, right? Like actually that looks great. Man, this, this pattern looks very cool. I never use this, but dang, I'm kind of vibing with it, right? We're going for that like Greek Parthenon. Oh, you know, I might have gotten way too much quartz now that I look at how much we have left. I just feel like so often I never get enough. I went overboard and hey, it's okay. Because on the bright side, it also just gives us a lot of flexibility. That's gonna be our roof. Okay, I, I like what we've got here. Feels good, it feels feels majestic, you know? Um, from the outside, it's, it, it's very out of place, actually. Wow, that, uh... Oh, look how cohesive all this is. And then just boom, am I regretting my actions? Cause the thing was, is like, I wanted a building that stood out, but now that I have a building that stood out, it looks kind of stupid. I think part of it is also, it's just really flat. It needs like a little more curvature going up, you know? So a little change of plans here. What do we think about that? To me, it definitely feels better. Now I'm thinking we could maybe extend this down into here. It kind of seems a little stupid. I won't lie. Okay. I think that's it. I think that is the one. I'm almost forgetting we have this. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my God. I'm going to be honest. I don't actually know what these for. I know how you get these. Obviously part of the, the recent update. Oh, I see. Okay. So these are used to make pottery. Oh, decorated pot. Tell you what. So that's the other thing is uh, we were getting a lot of items and I feel like I haven't been doing my best to keep up with everything and actually use them. And that is definitely something we're going to be doing in these last 30 days. So make sure to keep watching because I don't know, final build's probably going to be sick. I'm wondering, would that be cool or would that be stupid to put them in there? Whoa, these are actually kind of sick. Oh, I got 
one more. And are you ready for this? We got one right there. So I, I think I want this to be like a treasure room anyway. And, and I don't know. I just, I, I like it. Like, yes, it, it, it certainly looks weird on our island. I, I won't lie. But at the same time, you know, maybe it doesn't hurt to have something kind of stand out a little bit. And actually, on that note, one thing I've been thinking about doing, and I think I'm finally going to do it, kind of want to like enclose this more honestly for for what it is like i just i need it to almost take up more space just feel like if you're a thing on our island you need to like hold your own in, in, in terms of architectural coolness okay so i might have gone a little bit overboard started building a roof and then i started building more i don't really know what the function of this structure is i mean i guess like i said before i just kind of want to like beef up this island and make it look sick you know it's a shelter right sort of like a, a structure for the operation going inside here right you know it's it's really not that crazy when you think about it it's just a building for our machine for our, for our operation i had to add a little bit of extra space under here things were getting kind of full so guys i've been doing a little bit of thinking oh no um is this the end of my run um where are the buckets of water where do we where do we keep those there's the buckets uh where's the water Where's the water? This is actually so bad. Let me in, let me in, give me some water. This is an exponential problem that needs exponential quick solutions. I didn't really think about this very well. Okay, we got to contain this. I think that's that's the thing we got to do right now, right? Because if this comes down, it's just going to burn everything. Uh, we got to do that, right? We got to just, we got to stop this from spreading onto the rest of our islands. This is gone. Look, we can sacrifice this, we can salvage this, it's fine. But if this were to come down, right, and hit everything else, I mean, our entire island is, is just done. And and it's certainly, you know, it's what I'm trying to say in my panic here is it's not like it's gonna rain. This is, this is probably just gonna be a fire that burns itself out. So let's just, you know, sacrifice, sacrifice this. Oh man, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. You know, in, in some ways, I'm almost, like glad this happened. I didn't really love this structure. I'm kind of fine with the, uh, the the result here. You know, that is it. Look at that, guys. We saved <laughs> our island. Right. So one of my goals is to kind of keep like expanding things, and I wanted to make a bit of a crop farm over here. Well, yeah, this is the layout I was starting with. Um, there's not as much space as I was hoping for over here. To begin, we've got like, this is kind of a, I guess a base layer. I don't know if it's gonna go further than this, but we're definitely gonna make it look cooler. Oh, we've also got more sand. More stuff I have not used yet. There, a little something like that. We're gonna add glowstone into the mix. Right, so this way the crops will grow all the time. Nothing super crazy, but just kind of like a bit of a roof with some light in it to, you know, just give you that at night. And then I'm not really digging the the entire brick layout. Give me that. Yeah, I think it adds something. So one thing I was thinking is I kind of like the biodiversity of our main building here. And I was thinking I kind of want to recreate that on some of the other buildings. Yeah, just, just a little something. It's kind of nice. Now we have yet an okay. Okay. Yet another super awesome drop. It's going to put us at, what's that? Eight blocks. Now with that said, uh, I I'm at a bit of a, a crossroads as to all the stuff we have, right? Oh, actually, this is one thing I don't think I mentioned I got because it was a day of building, but check all this out. If we were to do this, could it be an additional vibe? To our cool room. I don't know for the, the 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 two nether ones like there maybe. Just pop that bad boy down right there. I think the plan is gonna be to really fill this up, almost like a a Minecraft museum. Now the other thing I've been thinking about are all these animals we got, like guardian, elder guardian, turtles, parrots. I should probably just get these all in a, in a single spot. Ooh, you know, it would be really cool to make enclosures for all these things. Let's start with something easy like a camel. Anyway, I think we're gonna actually expand the island. So I'm basically thinking something like this. A couple torches there. And ladies and gentlemen, whoa. Are these real? Wait, what? Oh, this is so tall, get what? Okay, first of all, look how happy these guys are. Second, is this like a hack? Are these actually in Minecraft now? Is, is, this, is this a 120 thing that I just uh, was not aware of? They're so large and imposing. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I also forgot. Bucket of salmon. And panda spawn eggs. Let's go. Right, so we basically went ahead and did the exact same thing on this side. Pandas will go there. And I think we'll get a little baby panda. Nice. Okay, grabbing some spicy blocks here. I might actually just uh, go ahead and flex. Incredible. The riches of Nifty Smith. Can we do that over here? Yeah, look, they, 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 they look the same. I'm looking like a nice flex cave so far. Oh my God, it's a baby? They eat cactus? <gasps> I'm riding a camel? Apparently turtle eggs just, just will hatch eventually we'll just leave them there we won't step on them oh that's a lot of building oh my goodness that's a lot of building blocks a lot of concrete powder they just dropped down on us wow look i'm just trying to get through these animals right now i do in fact want to to do the elder guardian and, and guardian and i know it's gonna be a nightmare but it would be cool just gonna grab a bunch of wood and uh i think we'll do that far away from our island for sure you know right the big thing is that if, if there's an elder guardian too close to our actual island like we're just gonna always have mining fatigue and then this will all be for nothing we want this to be really far and i know you're probably thinking oh i should have done slabs yeah 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 whatever but uh that's fine you know some uh some slabs like that one of the problems i am i am wondering about is glass you know is uh is there gonna be enough glass that's a big space i think we can make it around twice more is looking a little interesting right I, I think we're definitely gonna need like eight high maybe you can buy like a, a actually not a bad amount of glass that makes us four layers high and that's gonna make five so that is kind of starting to look somewhat reasonable gosh the amount of effort we are putting in for fish that i don't even like it's gonna look cool though i promise this is starting to look better honestly this might be our last layer okay that is gonna be enough maybe we just call it right there that is eight high you know and i think like guardians are certainly i don't know like two blocks high the elders are probably probably three big thing now is i just i don't know how to fill this in with water you know like a little little bit of that obviously that's only gonna do so much uh, i'm gonna have to figure out what comes next now i've also gone ahead taken out this and i kind of like the way this just goes straight down to that like i don't know it's it's kind of imposing it's like the the road to the the poseidon oh oh and we got more flowers okay that's good we're look at this we're gonna have to make like a sick garden obviously once we're done with that so i've been doing some research and it turns out the best way to fill things such as this up is ice we don't really have that much ice and i know one of these won't break when broken so i'm gonna be honest with you guys um i don't know what i'm doing and i don't know if there's anything we can do to, to make this actually work we're gonna try our best and uh we're just gonna see what happens let's just see here that right let's try there, okay. I'm not so sure about this. That has taught me something. This time, I'm gonna try something a little different. What if we were to like break this, break that, break that, that, and then that? Looking kind of saucy. Oh, wait, okay, no, I'm getting an even better idea. What if we do infinite water? Start the process and do as much as we can with infinite water. Oh. Also today we're getting goat. That's gonna be a start. We kind of just wanna like build a thing around this, right? And then you would fill source blocks in there. So now we have something like this, right? See, we're, we're getting there. Can't forget redstone stuff. And then the next day, ooh, dang. I kind of forgot about Elytra. We could actually, yeah. It's not bad at all. And it's nothing crazy, but like it will save us, you know, a little bit of time just getting back and forth here. I think we just kind of repeat this process now. This is like this time we're just gonna fill the other side of these edges. We're just kind of repeating the same thing, I guess. Okay, so now I've just gone ahead and like kind of gone straight across. Oh, I am forgetting again, but this time, ah. Oh wait, it, it, it's not a new day yet, but now it is. And now we have, ooh. Well, first golden apples of the game. So, you know, this project is turning out to take a lot more time 
than I had anticipated. I'm really hoping that this is gonna at least look cool, you know? It just like adds something to the island. I think we have done it. That is water looking nice and saucy. Now underneath here, uh, oh yeah, see there's little little pockets of, of air. How do we do this part, you know? Like there, there I can, can see some of this being not too bad, right? You can kind of start to just Chip away, fill it in. Right, so it seems like this might be a little more forgiving than I had thought, because check this out, right? Boom, and then break that. Boom. Yeah, that's actually working really well. I find this really funny too. It's just like running across this top little thing. and I don't know, it's like a little pond. Just look at that. Slowly but surely, guys. We're making this happen. Ladies and gentlemen, as the sun rises, we have slowly but surely. Actually, we've done the whole thing without the use of ice. It certainly wasn't fast. And ladies and gentlemen, on the final, the fi oh wait, actually that's it. We did it. Oh my God, we did it. Look at this beautiful piece of art. I'm sure you've seen way more awesome things than this, but just, just take it in. And I'm just not really sure what's gonna happen. Like, are they gonna fly out the top? Let's just spawn one and, and see what happens. It definitely appears to be chilling. Maybe just adding like a little extra bit of enclosure just around the edge. That's kind of nice because it can't attack us through the glass. Probably should have done this first, but whatever. And I guess from here, if we're happy with it, because the thing is, once we place the two elder guardians in it, we can't really do anything to it. You know, it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be there because they're gonna give us mining fatigue and that's annoying. So we'll drop these guys in. Oh man, that is really cool. I know like maybe I could have made a little temple for them, but compared to what I gave the other animals, compared to these guys, you know, compared to everyone over here, I have spent like seven days making a home for the enemy. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Well, hear me out. We do have 64 prismarine. Grab some blackstone, maybe? I'm going to add respiration, hoping that will make a build down here a little easier. That actually, okay, that, that's a good amount of time. A little spot for the fishies to swim. Wow, I truly am a skilled artist. Let's, let's, go, let's go with that. Uh, it's, 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 it's a thing, okay? <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to do is like almost recreate like coral because we just don't have enough blocks to make an actual structure. Something like that, I guess. I don't really know what this black stone is supposed to be, but just kind of gonna add a bit of texture to everything. You know, nothing crazy, but that actually does add a bit. And then we can maybe add in some frog lights. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's raining? It's like, uh, it's meant to be though. We're ready to do this. We're gonna have big one and big two. Pop him in, instantly give him the thing. Big two, and there we go. Cool, they're in the... Okay, well that is rude. But anyway, we did it. I need some milk. He needs some milk. And today we have, ooh, a trident. Axolotl, oh man, we're actually getting a lot of different animals. I don't know if we're gonna have time to spawn them all. Uh, I do think one thing that would be cool though is to just put our parrots up here and they can just like vibe, you know, super hard. I don't know, that seems like a nice spot for parrots to live. Oh, well, 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 if this isn't a little bit of, a little bit of netherite, right? Like who wants to actually work for it? Not me, that's for sure. Oh my goodness, look at the things we have here. We need uh, that many. Right, so before we add on, we're gonna wanna do the mending. I'm just wondering about this protection, you know? We've got like quite a few levels. Why don't we try for something a little better? Okay, game, you're giving me a lot of protection. Three, I'm getting low on levels here. Probably should have done this differently. You know, also to be fair, it's not like we've been in a lot of fights this video. Come on! Okay, you know, just for that, I'm gonna take out all my anger on these nerds right here. The amount of satisfaction from this is, is quite high. Okay, there it is. Just a few more boops. Beautiful, oh my gosh. Couldn't have asked for a better enchantment. That goes there, that goes there. That goes there, and ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! I didn't work for this at all, but I wanna thank everyone. Uh, I'm, I'm so proud of this moment. Can't believe that we've managed to achieve netherite on this tiny, tiny world from which we started. 
Oh no, horses, donkeys. Oh gosh, things I need to put places. Look, we only have so many days left and I just don't know if I have the time. So that's gonna have to do, you know, just gonna speed run a horse tame. You know, I gotta say, I I'm super curious what we're gonna get in the last few days on this. The really the big thing I wanna know is whether we're gonna be able to go to the end or not. But while we wait for that, I have been thinking about all this concrete powder, right? We've been known to dabble and the occasional rainbow in our videos. And I was thinking maybe we should keep that trend going. One thing that I have found is due to the very loud noise of these mobs in here, I haven't really like done anything over here just because I felt like it would be an annoying space. And while it's probably still gonna stay a loud and annoying space, I was wondering if we could do something kind of cool with concrete powder maybe, right? Like, uh, oh. Oh, he's doing the concrete thing. What if we just did that all the way up? I know, we're not gonna quite make the top. I don't know, the, the, some of these dark colors are really hard to incorporate and now it just kind of looks, hmm. I decided to switch it up. This is what I ended up with. Well, I guess the thing is, is it feels a little less cohesive, but I didn't do this front part and I think it looks stupid. And so now we have something like that. I think that feels great. You know, color burst on the island. The only thing I wish I could do is fill in all those top sections, but we just don't have enough concrete. Oh, I also forgot today. Oh no, fox, wolf, cat. Okay, cat, that's easy. Cats, you do your thing. Wolf and fox. I guess we do have bones, so that's easy. Now we got dogs. As for the foxes, and I'm actually just thinking about putting these foxes up here. There's no grass, but you know, there's tree coverage. I'm sorry, fellas, the best I can do. Also have, oh, the enchanted golden apple. Some skulk stuff. Not really interested in dealing with that. Still no end portal. Okay, now day 96. Oh, it's given us good stuff. Let's go. I just want an end portal frame though. Also, I forgot I have this diamond ore still. Maybe just like a in the corner there. It's not bad, right? All right, and then the other 10 gold blocks. I wonder if we could make this bigger. Oh, I didn't even need to fake it. Look at that. That's a legit pile of gold blocks. In that case, I will use these for four more golden apples. We also might want to just preemptively start planning for an ender dragon fight. No, <laughs> we've been saving everything in this chest for this moment. We've been saving this top floor for this moment. I don't have a nether wart. I guess since this is the most sparse area, uh, we need to make something cool for this. Oh, I do have nether wart. Okay, just hold this thought, okay, one sec. I don't know, it's not the coolest thing ever, but just like something better than a straight up portal, I guess. Honestly though, I I'm just fine with a kind of cool looking portal. Now, as for these potions, and really since I don't think we can get regen potion strength and slow falling, and then I guess uh, swiftness to finish up. Now, today is gonna be more nether stuff. Actually, don't mind that. Oh, I'm the biggest loser on the beach because that's actually gonna be it. Because I, I used up all the things because I didn't have enough diamonds to make another one. Except I do have diamonds. I actually have quite a few diamonds. I was just very focused on wealth and I did not think about my, my well-being. Um, Okay, this is a bit of an error. But on the bright side, we can come here, we can grab, I think that's it, I just do three. One more netherite ingot. So the question is now, we can't use these netherite ingots. We could put them up, you know, to flex on everyone, just to show, hey, I don't even need these netherite ingots, right? Guys, it is day 97 and I don't have a sword. Yeah, I guess I've just been really living a, 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 a what I'm trying to say is we, we certainly are living a, a, a nice life on this island of no suffering and no danger. But if we're going to fight a theoretical ender dragon, we should probably uh, at least try for some type of sword. Looking for uh, that? No. Sharpness three. You know what? Stacked with uh, strength, that'll be enough. Just gotta do some quick booping. There we go. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, we have a sword. Okay, now, day 98 hit me. Whoa! Okay, I was not expecting to be hit with that. I can make this work, right? We can uh, we can take these out. We can exp 
band. Can even fill this in so it's legit now. Another right, and then oh, you know, I'm realizing I haven't been over here for a while. This isn't even serving a purpose anymore. It just exists to cause suffering. Anyway, there we go. There we go. Oh, look at that. What a great looking room. And then uh, our jukebox, you just right there. That's fine. As for these last four diamonds, you know what we'll do? Just as a little fun surprise. They're right in there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, day 99. I don't know, and I'm nervous. My man, my, my team coming through for the content. Let's go. Oh, dear buddy. Where, where are you? Here you are. Okay. Uh, well, guys, I love how every Minecraft playthrough, whenever you're under weird circumstances like this, it always comes back to the Fletcher and stick selling. You know what, you guys? You've been great. Here's a tip. Ooh, I just had a cool idea. What if we actually put it up here? I just don't want to screw this up because we kind of have one shot at it. Okay, so center point is here. Okay, question is... Oh, are we ready to send it? I think we're kind of just ready. Honestly, I've been waiting for this and I'm, I'm excited for a little combat. Day 99, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a beautiful run. I want to thank you all so much for making it this far. If you have made it this far, comment what your favorite 100 days we've ever done is. You really think I'd forget all these arrows? Actually, wait a second. What am I doing? I need a better bow. We're not ready. Power three. Flame, look, that's all I need. We are ready to fly, ladies and gentlemen. Now, 100 days. We've built all this beautiful world from a single lucky block. It's been a run for the ages, guys. And now today, the true question is, can we beat the Ender Dragon from a single lucky block? Let's do this. Look at this. Look at this. N you never get this, right? You got you to take advantage of it. I'm just saying. Honestly, I'm a little nervous. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I really want to do this. We got a dude on us already. See, I don't really like that. It's taking massive damage, but... Well, I don't really know what the butt is. That was kind of dangerous. Okay, let's get serious here. Cracked with a bow. I haven't had any combat experience this whole run. Just been having fun. Can't hit a shot to save my life. Oh my gosh, there we go. There it is. I'm washed up. I'm a hack. I'm a fraud. Oh! Up. Wait, I have six enchanted golden apples. I'm just I'm just eating apples, okay? You know, after all this time, guys, I think I might still be cracked with a bow. That was a hit. I don't know how that first shot did not register, but okay. I'm cracked with a bow. Ender Dragon's gonna come down. And ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna get ready to do this. Oh, dude, I don't even I don't even need the strength, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Ready? Ready? Massive damage. Massive damage. Unstoppable man right here. Look at all these effects. We're, 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 dude, come on. Ready for this? Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Oh my gosh. It's just not ready. It's just not ready for this. Oh, that was a good move. That was a good move. I'll give it that. Listen, when it comes to me and a bow, you just can't. Oh, oh, sometimes you can. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? Never been done before in the history of Minecraft. Here you have it, 100 days on a single lucky block, defeating the Ender Dragon with an end portal frame. There it is. Now, quick little boop. Quick little boop. Next, a quick little... Oh, Thunder on the last night. That's fun. Honestly, I'm just like really content overall with this whole thing you know it's just a fun build overall i think we really optimized our success on this one you know look at that ah! <laughs> ah! day 100 we're gonna finish it off with every trim in the oh my gosh so that's a fat reward all right guys we're gonna end it on this a little silence armor some spire the ward and i think we'll do dune strap that on and if you guys want to play this yourself just subscribe and follow the link down below for the download world and i will see you in the next one